Hey guys, Mr. DeMeo, and today I'm going to talk to you about that planet with all the rings. You shall not pay! Let's just learn about Saturn. So, what are we learning about today? The Loch Ness Monster? The first man to eat a lobster? The history of turtleneck sweaters? The first man to eat a lobster. What? You said that one already. I was kind of hoping you'd take the hint and make a video about it. Well, while those are all really interesting topics, today we're going to learn about Saturn. What's a Saturn? Well, let me tell you something funny, boy. Saturn is one of the gas giants. It's the sixth planet from the sun and the second largest planet in our solar system. Sixth planet? Second largest? Is it the first in anything? Well, it's the first in our hearts, Andy. In our hearts. So, this guy's one of the gas giants. Is he like Jupiter? Oh, I got this. Like Jupiter, Saturn is mostly made of hydrogen and helium. Wait, where did Andy go? Oh no, you said helium! So? So every time someone says helium, Andy pops down, sucks in the stuff from a balloon, comes up and says some weird stuff. Hey, I'm Mr. DeMeo, and I love my neighbor Crusty Face. And all I talk about is chicken parmesan, and chicken parmesan, and chicken parmesan. Are you finished? Yes. So according to my calculations, Saturn should be here. Wait, how could Saturn be that tiny? Pick me, teacher, I'm ever so smart. Well, Saturn is actually huge. It's just really far away from us. Saturn is actually so big. 764 Earths equal the size of it. Wow. So how about to save some time, I use this bad boy. So, you're gonna use your animal communicator to bring Saturn to us? That thing could do that? I don't know, but I brought the directions. Oh wait, they're in German. Oh no, can you speak German? Uh, yeah. It says here I just twist the lederhosen, grab the kerpoofle, twist the hoffer shoffer, and kerplut. Huh? Say what now? Yeah, I really have no idea. I thought you said you speak German. Oh wait, that was actually German Shepherd. What do you say you just hit a random button? But what button? What about that one? <laughs> Sorry, German Shepherd. Oh come on, just hit a button. Do it. Do it. I feel like my brain has a whooping cough. <laughs> Never mind your brain. Look! I have a cat named Orange Juice. Wait a second, you're a giant planet, yet you have a cat? Uh-huh, and I have an orange juice named Cat. What? Try speaking German. I mean, German Shepherd. See if that works. <laughs> Your pet bird is funny. He sounds like my mommy. Hey. Oh well, we tried. Hey, mommy. What? When I grow up, can I be a sailboat? Oh no. Oh, I have an idea. How about if you answer some of my questions, we'll help you become a sailboat. But I don't want to be a sailboat. I want to be a caterpillar. Never mind. So, Saturn, usually you're so far from Earth that we can barely see you, but how far from Earth are you really? I have nightmares when I'm awake. Roberta, you want to take this one? Yes! At its closest point, Saturn is 746 million miles away from Earth. Wow. That would take people years to get there. Hey, speaking of years, I smell like my grandma. What? That you do, Saturn. That you do. You know, we've talked to a lot of planets in our time, but this one looks unique. Ooh, did you just say unicorn? I want one. No. No, I said, never mind. So Saturn, what's up with those rings? My mom calls them my space swimmies. Huh? Roberta, help. Well, 
Saturn's rings are really fascinating. The rings are actually made up of dust, ice, and rock that spin around Saturn's equator. Some pieces are really tiny, while others are the size of a school bus. Whoa. And the rings themselves are really huge. What? They're about 240,000 miles wide. Whoa. That's longer than the distance between the Earth and the Moon. Sorry, I saw a squirrel over there. Anyway, Saturn, if you have rings, do you also have moons? Pigs go moo. So does my doggy, Mr. Hufflepuff. I kind of like him more when he spoke German. Try saying it in a language he'll understand. That's a good idea. Hey, Saturn? Yes, Mommy? Huh? Kerpel of Ursuliner? Ursula Gersker? Ursula for the Lurter Murmured. You mean the bouncy balls that play tag around my head? Um, yes. It worked. Okay, listen up. First of all, I have 62 moons. Many of Saturn's moons are named after the Titans. In Greek mythology, the Titans were the brothers and sisters of the god Saturn. Wow. Some of them are really cool, but I'll tell you about my favorites. First is Titan. This is Saturn's largest moon. Some scientists think there could be life on it. Then there's Mimas. It has a giant crater in it that makes it look like the Death Star from Star Wars. And the bestest part is, when I'm a really good boy, my mom lets me play with the moons in the bathtub. What? Way too much information. So Saturn, is there anything else you want to tell us before we go? Yes, one more thing. I have a cat named Dog. How many cats do you have? 72. What? You know what? That makes total sense. Hey, Saturn, you've done so much for us. Is there anything we can do for you? Well, there is one thing. Does it involve the first man to eat a lobster? No. Does it involve cats? No. The play cats? No. Cat scans? No. Cat Stevens? No. OK, yes. Listen, you guys are the first friends I've had in years, and you see, you have that magical remote thingy. I was just wondering if, if... If what? If you could turn me into a cat. What? Aw, oh, shucks. Help the poor kid out. Look, Mommy, I'm a unicorn. <laughs> hey, guys, it's me. You probably didn't recognize me with this pig nose. What? Anyway, I hit a secret coupon code in this video. Try to find it. It's black and has a hashtag symbol before it. You can use it on some of Mr. DeMeo's cool stuff in his Teespring store, like this Roberta pillow, bird shirt, or his new orange juice cat shirt he made just for me. Check the description box for a link. Also, do you think you know all there is to know about me, Catern? I mean Saturn? Take the Saturn quiz at Mr. DeMeo's Teacher's Pay Teacher's site. He has a bunch of other quizzes and worksheets for his other videos there too. Check the description box for a link. And most importantly, special thanks to Mr. DeMeo's patrons on Patreon. They help Mr. DeMeo make this video, especially Mrs. Brown's first grade, Chris F. Nadia and Hannah, Cass, Gunner, Autumn, and Ainsley, Wesley C, Zeno the Shark, Dean Scandalakis, Harry, Aria and Kieran, Michelle and Conrad, and Riley Mock. Do you want to become a patron on Patreon and help Mr. DeMeo? Signing up lets you pick his next topic, see behind the scenes videos, catch his videos early, and more. Check the description box for a link. Uh, yeah, it just says I just twist the leader hose and spinkle the schmickle locker. <laughs> it says here I just have to sprinkle the leader hose and the gongle me smeekle the like gongle. <laughs> I sound like Xena the Warrior. <laughs> <laughs> it was a college elective. I had to do it. Our professor signed me up. He was like, this is going to be a good course. You're going to you're gonna learn to speak to dogs. <laughs> the way my family has. For a thousand generations. <laughs> you have been sworn into the dog guild. <laughs>
like my father before me. <laughs> like my father before me. And now you. I actually am your father. Pulls it out dark. <laughs> uh.